my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about challenges the famous five day challenges that you see on Facebook everywhere the free challenges and how can you run a successful challenge you've been hearing about challenges you're thinking lots of people are saying they're getting results from them so what does that mean how do you do it what do you need to do to make it successful we're not going to talk about what does that mean to you and all that good stuff so but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So a challenge, a free challenge, what does that mean and how can you make it successful? Before we get into that, just remember if you're listening to the audio, you're probably going to want to go check out the video and the blog post. You'll find it at CIS343 dot jsgagnon.com to uh, to watch the video and the blog to read the blog post so let's talk about a challenge what do I mean by a challenge you've heard of challenges all the time let me share my screen here so we can start to kind of take notes so uh that's not what I want to show you so okay so how to what how to run a successful five-day challenge you've heard of challenges and you might have even participated in some but now you want to host it because you're you've been told that it's the best way to grow your business online to get leads to get people to buy your stuff that's just what you've been told but you're like okay well how do I do it what does it mean first of all what does a success mean for you right does it does it mean signups does it mean sales does it mean happy people does it mean new connections on Facebook does it mean new friends on Facebook right what does it mean and also you can run challenges elsewhere it doesn't have to be on Facebook it could be a, a, a through email it could be your blog page the idea with a challenge is to give something of value to your audience whoever your audience is you know you gotta so you gotta figure out who your audience is you gotta know who you're trying to attract and you gotta have uh, a, pr a properly outlined five-day challenge now it could be a 10-day a 30-day challenge a three-day challenge really it's it's it, it's up to you how you do it but let's just say what does a successful challenge mean to you right what does it mean to you what does it mean that it's successful right it could be uh it could be that you got sales right it could be that you got signups to your list right it could be that you um you have new friends right so really depends you got to decide what does a successful challenge mean to you normally it means that you've gotten somebody buying the thing that you're tr you're selling right so the idea with the challenge is you got five let's just break it down into five day right so for, for a five day challenge you have five things that you might teach them or you can probably make it four things because often the fifth day is about graduation and making them an offer to keep going and one thing that's super important so okay so important or important things to remember right so number one they have to get wins you must give them small wins every day okay you got to give them small wins every day so you got to figure out the way that you're going to run your challenge over the five days what can you get them to accomplish right it's about accomplishing something about feeling good about themselves about them uh, achieving something like so for example for me if I show you some of the five-day challenge I did in the past um in 2017 which has been a long time because I haven't run another one I did a challenge um for Facebook lives right I had this basically the the challenge was to get people to go live because they were they're afraid and still today that would be definitely something that I could do again 
but I had this uh let's see where is the so I had this like this this is how I had it broken down day number one I would have them do an intro right who they are where they're from what they do right number two I would have them do a passion or interest talk about a video talk about doing a video talking about their passion or an interest right number day three they would um and and by the way the wins in this case would be the to do the video right and the idea with this this was that it was a hidden group that nobody would be able to find and by the way if you try to find this group you won't be able to find it and you won't be able to see who's in it uh, other than you know the names you're seeing here but those people are now they're not over their fear right in the beginning they wouldn't have wanted anybody to see them in their life now they do lives regularly there are people that have overcame their fear of doing lives on Facebook and how I did that is by giving them little wins every day every day they would do a video that they would just share in the group except for the very last day that was the final go live in on your profile that was the goal at the end of this now in my case this the 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 lack the lack or how could I put it the the thing that I did not do in this particular live or this particular challenge was to offer a continuation right for me at that time the 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 goal for me was just to grow my audience grow people that would actually um, know me that would uh, that would feel that they learned something from me that I gave them you know this this new uh, win right which was going live right so I didn't I didn't offer something at the end but in your in your case nowadays anyways you want to make you want to be offering them so that's the first thing is you want to give them small wins every day so it could be just going live right it could be getting a lead it could be setting up their autoresponder it could be setting up their their first email sequence it could be getting um a, a capture page done you know whatever you're doing right whatever your audience is interested in and that might be something that I will do right because I'm talking about this I'm thinking oh these are things I could get people to get a win on right so number two you want to uh it it has to be a logical set of things they learn right so there has to be learning something logical I mean if you're if you're teaching online marketing uh you don't want to be uh talking about the a recipe for something right uh, a cooking a cooking recipe right I mean you could talk about that but that's not part of the online marketing right if you're talking about online marketing personal branding that kind of stuff right so it has to be logical so when you think of your five days you have to have something you want them to accomplish on the fifth day and you want to find so so number three you make sure there's a I guess I get I I guess I should say a great goal for the end of the challenge that they you want them they they need to want whatever it is that they'll get at the end of the five days right in the case of my five-day challenge my five-day live Facebook live the, <laughs> the end result is going live on your profile the end result is doing Facebook live videos and not being afraid to do them that was the end result right so how do I get there I do little things over the period right so number four is um each day whoops each day each day should be a small step to the final to the final goal right so for example if you're trying to um get them to to have uh, their first leads online right well having a lead is not complicated really when you know how to do it but the thing is that there's all sorts of little things that you need to set up so that even if you do get a lead it's actually usable right so you need to have an autoresponder set up you need to have an email sequence set up you might need to have a campaign set up you might need to have a capture page set up did I say that already anyways you, and then and then you need to be able to have people come to that page to get there to enter their information to become a lead of yours right so I mean you'd have to show them all these things as you went towards the okay getting leads right and that could be uh, one thing right so important things to remember let's see what else is there um must give uh okay so number five really is is 
I guess like I said it depends on what you define as success if you're trying to sell something right so for me I have um I have a, pl a platform I'm part of right that I can get people on that platform either my own platform building or the Mali system pro platform which I also <coughs> have have learned a lot from that I'm an affiliate of so if somebody joins that platform or my, or my click ecourse platform one or the other and and has and pays something I get a commission right so if I want to teach them how to generate leads how to get leads and and then they need this platform to to take it to the next level then that could be the thing that I offer at the at the end right but really you don't want to be just selling something you want to be offering them a continuation into what you you did right so if you're talking about online branding online marketing personal branding blogging all these things social media strategies you might want to uh, have another five days or ten days of helping them along to the next level right but you also want to make sure that you're not so do not do not make the uh, next step a requirement in their six in their results right so <laughs> so what does that mean that means if you are offering them to be part of a platform to get leads and to you know like for example in my lead system pro if I'm doing that you don't want to make it an obligation so they have to get results when the free five days you can't it can't be like oh well you know you got those results but you really need this and without that you're not that's not going to be of any value right that is the worst thing you can do you can't be making it that they need this uh upgrade if you will right they can't need that they have to learn they have to get value from your free five days you might be thinking well yeah but I'm giving it away this is all free I'm giving them my time I'm giving them my 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 knowledge I'm I'm helping them uh in the face in the say you do it in a Facebook group right I'm helping them in there I'm making sure that they that they get the results and I'm not getting anything in return well yes you are just remember it's just think have the abundance mindset right where you're realizing that it doesn't matter whether that person is going to buy from you or not but that person if they feel that you have given them value they will only say good things about you if they ever talk to anybody else or if they ever comment on anything you're always going to be getting some positive uh you know um interaction from that person right so if you make them feel like they're wasting their time because they had to buy this thing then they're just going to say well you just did it for to get that sale right you want to make sure that there's that they don't have that feeling at the end and that's why it doesn't matter whether they buy from you or not they're going to be your biggest fans just because you made them feel great and you made them win and you made them accomplish something right they accomplished it because of you because you taught them this thing whatever it is they're teaching right so okay so now these remembering these things so number so next thing is you have to so set up your your five-day challenge um well let's just say how to set up right so what what to do to set up okay so what to do to set up so what do you need to do to set it up right number one obviously you have to have a topic now I would say that this is this is a great place where you can use Russell Brunson's one thing phrase right so it could be how to x without x right or y without y so how to get your first leads online without I don't know without spending a ton of money on tools how to uh how to get over your fear of Facebook lives without doing lives on your profile right I mean even though you do it at the end maybe but anyways uh, that's not maybe or how to get generate sales online without asking or without convincing people to buy from you 
right maybe that's what it is so choose a topic okay so number two is um organize well I guess you say is basically you want to make sure that your days so separate so okay so actually you know what after we choose a topic you got to make sure you got to uh, define the win at the end of the five days okay so like I said if it's a 15-day challenge or 30-day challenge and it's always the same thing it's the the win at the end of the x days we're just going to say the win at the end so so you know that is very very important because that's what that's how to right so how to get your first leads so what's the win at the end while well, getting their first leads right uh how to get over your fear of Facebook lives well that's the win at the end so it's pretty it's not too hard to figure out the what they win at the end but you got to make sure that it's that it is what you said they would get when they say how to right how to do this well that's what they should be getting at the end of the five days it shouldn't be you're going to get a little bit of it but if you really want it you got to buy this other thing that's awful don't do that you want to make sure they get the win now if you're if you're um you know if you know that they want to make you know ten thousand dollars a month and uh, well, maybe in your challenge you're going to show them how to make five hundred dollars right in your first five days make five hundred dollars online in your first five days without spending thousands on tools or something right so if you want them to make ten thousand a month then maybe they'll need to buy your next thing but you're still going to have given them that five five hundred a month you would have shown them how to do that right you got to make sure that those five days will accomplish what you say because otherwise they're going to feel cheated they're going to feel like you promised something that didn't happen so you got to make sure that whatever you promise is attainable is doable as long as they follow your uh, leads and the action steps whatever actions you tell them to do and you got to make sure that they get those results otherwise you got to make sure it's possible and it's uh, very likely and it's probably 100 percent guaranteed that they'll get them right so that's that's when you talk dollars it's kind of hard but you can maybe you can do that right depends on what you have what you're doing right so um so the win has to be attainable after the five days it has you have to be sure that they're going to get it after the five days that's super important okay number three then you got to split or uh, how can I say that you don't split you basically um find the five four to five small wins small wins they will accomplish accomplish on each day right so you gotta in that in that five days they have to get multiple small wins so if you're saying that they need like I don't know let's say you're saying you make five hundred dollars in your first month of online marketing uh then that means that you might want to make sure that each of the days they accomplish something that's going to take them towards that right now <laughs> that could be communicating with people that could be growing their fans that could be defining their avatar that could be all these different things that could be creating ads I don't know what is it they're going to do right uh, but it has to be that there's little wins every single day that they will feel good about that they're going to be oh wow I'm moving I'm this is actually working oh my god I got this I this is great right they got to be happy that they're accomplishing something so without that they're not gonna they're probably gonna quit within a few days right okay so then the next thing is you gotta create so let's say you're doing it on Facebook create your Facebook group all right uh, number five is invite people whoops invite people to your group now I would highly recommend that you use other mechanisms to get people to your Facebook group than just the Facebook group there's lots of reasons for that but the main reason is you don't control Facebook Facebook is going to decide whether they um you know if you have a if you're sending 
50 invites to, to people that go to your group every single day you're going to get blocked Facebook is going to lock you out they're going to maybe even cancel your account there's all these things that can happen so if you want to do a lot of invites you want to use other mechanisms right and one of the ways is using Click eCourse that's why I had Click eCourse open right here a second ago so Click eCourse will you can use it to leverage a Facebook five-day challenge how do you do that so if I go uh, let me log in here well first of all you need to register an account it's free to register yada yada there's lots of other uh, episodes that I talk about that but if I just log into my account I'm just going to show you if I go to my courses so basically the idea is you would create a course that you would have your five day like this for example my five day chrome extension um, that I'm doing I haven't started it yet but that's going to be starting soon basically it's a five day challenge but why is it here right there's I've got these these different uh, five day um, I've split it up in different parts right so there's the what's the challenge about in this case finding your winning idea hiring your programmer launching your software growing your sales and scaling your business right so these are the five days to build a business using a chrome extension right so I could just have a group I actually do have a group it's right here uh, so the group is where the challenge will be run initially but if I want to have people join this group I invite them to this instead have them add this to their um to their library of course of of courses on on Click eCourse and then after that it's possible to mail email them remind them and whenever there's a new lesson and all these things I can send them an email because they're part of this instead of being just on Facebook where Facebook controls whether people see things or not or whatever right okay so how do we do that so um I'm just trying to think what's the best way I can show you this so like I said okay so invite people to group let's just go back to here and then okay so the other reason why you want to use a platform like Click eCourse is because if you just use Facebook right first you're not in control of who sees what when because Facebook decides that based on their engagement based on how you know active they are on Facebook itself how active they are in groups uh, whether they've interacted with your stuff before or not whether they've interacted stuff with stuff of from other people in the group etc there's all these different things that Facebook decides for you right so by putting it in Click eCourse instead you're in control of when people see what right um so so for example if I create so so create the five day course in Click eCourse now what does that mean click eCourse okay so when so the reason why you do that is because after you do your Facebook videos you can probably post them or do them live for each day right you're going to do a training or some sort of a, this is what you got to do today whatever it is your training is oh sorry uh, had trouble sleeping last night the kids were up there was a lot of wind <laughs> there's a lot of still a lot of wind right now they had trouble sleeping so they were up at two and three and four a.m anyways okay so you create the five-day course in Click eCourse so just like I have right here you create a new course and you just put these videos well not videos but these lessons with no videos because they're they don't I don't have the videos yet I didn't do the I didn't do it yet once I run the video in click like for example let's say I take a look at this one this one here was a five day let me see if I can like I said this is media videos okay so these are a bunch of videos oh everybody else did too I need to find the videos I did is there any way I can show the videos I did So this was a live video here um, there I was live uh, no there's too much stuff in here there's a whole bunch of different things 
it's and the, but the, that's the thing so when you're doing your Facebook you should be saving your video after you've done it so that you can then upload it to um a, to it to this you you have these videos here now right and in each of these if I click on edit on here well this is actually the introduction so there's nothing here cancel that I'm gonna have to do this properly again when I do it but let's just go back to the course and let's go to this lesson number over here so your winning idea so this would be no it's not really it's not really showing me what I want to show you <coughs> back to the course so anyways like I said the idea is that once you have some this in there people that join your challenge you want them to go in here you want them to create an account so let's go do it so click ecourse.com so what I want to do is I want to create a new account right I'm going to register I'm just going to use email and password normally you should just click on continue with Facebook but because I already have an account I can't I got to use this so I'm just going to create a new account like this and it says that I have an email that I need to use to activate it there you go right here just click on this oh I shouldn't have oh well I guess it didn't matter hmm. now I'm logged in okay well, I guess I have to log in now this is cis343 I did it wrong because I would have normally ha wouldn't have had to log in here but that's okay okay so <laughs> so now I have I have this now if I go to um let's close this out now if I if I'm a new person that is accessing this uh, let this here if I just open this okay so this is basically what you do you send people the link to the to the five-day challenge in Click eCourse and they end up adding it to their library it's a free course right this is free it's a five-day challenge it's a free five-day challenge you just add it to your library now this is in my library so now if I if I'm the um if I look at this now I can see there's a, a student in this in this course which is me CIS 343 which is the one I just created now but as I grow this there would be a list here and I can actually send so first anybody who's in here anybody who is in uh, is a student of this will be notified by email and by notification bell up here that the that a new uh, course has a new lesson has been added or new comments right there could be a comment I could add a comment right here to the course saying hey by the way we just did lesson number two or whatever and that gets sent to people now so that's the first that's the one thing first of all they get notification whenever things happen so you don't have to rely on Facebook to let them know right because people don't see all the notifications that Facebook sends. there's too many of them right with this you control it secondly if you have an offer at the end of your five days and by the way you should to continue on maybe you have a, a a master class or maybe you have a um an, an advanced version of whatever you taught but you're selling it for 100 200 500 dollars whatever if they have invited somebody to join this they will automatically get the commission automatically you don't have to they don't have to worry about oh well what if what if the person uses somebody else's link or what if the person does this what if the person does that you can be sure that they get the commissions that's one of the cool things about using a platform like this is you make sure like why would somebody promote okay so say you're doing a Facebook live a Facebook group to do your Facebook five-day challenge do you think all the people you know will promote you your challenge so that people go on your challenge in your free challenge and they buy your stuff 
and maybe you're going to remember they're the ones that promoted or maybe the person is going to say oh yeah that it was Bob that sent me over and then you're going to trust that they send the money and all that stuff well all that is really hard to to ma manage especially if you're if you're scaling if you're getting hundreds of people in there with a system like this there's no loss there's no way to prevent there's no way to steal if somebody got re referred by you then you get the commission there's no there's no ifs or buts about it there's no way for anybody else to get the commission because you're the one that referred them right so that's kind of how that works all right so hopefully that helps and that's basically that's how you get to do a five-day challenge that's successful is a challenge where people can promote it they get commissions they're guaranteed to not lose on commissions if they promote it so you're going to get people to promote it you're going to grow and you got to have these five wins this big win and it's got to be something they get value from whether they pay for your bonus or your extra or your thing you're offering at the end right that's super important all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions don't forget go ahead and comment below comment on the blog comment on the video and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time